Hi, my name is Cecilia Williams, and I'm a senior music major here at Columbia College. And this is my journey through the four C's for the Spring Valley High School Viking Band. My journey started in June, June 24th to be exact. It was band camp where mornings would start at a bright and early 5 a.m. and would not end until somewhere around 12 a.m. the next morning. On this bright and early morning of June 24th, I was greeted by 80 bright-eyed, bushy-tailed students of the Spring Valley High School Marching Viking Band, only to later find out that a little over a fourth of this group would be my own students that I would lead, become best friends with, and become so attached with by the end of this year. 23 students and three faculty profession, three profession faculty members later, and this was the Spring Valley profession section of this year. And boy, was I in for the ride of my life. The first stop on our journey that we'll be taking is the stop at Courage. It Courage is the ability to do something that frightens one. It took a lot of courage for me to stand in front of 80 students who were not much younger than myself and say that I was joining the staff as their next profession instru instructor. It scared me to stand in front of 23 students who looked up to me, who were not only five or six years younger than me, but some of them could even play better than I could, and to teach them skills that I've known for years. It took courage to trust two other co-instructors who have done this for five or six years at Spring Valley, and who also attended Spring Valley. It took courage to stand on my own two feet when dis disagreements arose between my staff members that had to be resolved, or between my students that really had to be resolved. But it took the most courage to be the youngest staff member at Spring Valley, and the only female in an all-male 12 member staff.
As the marching competitions grew stronger and stronger, my journey continued. Our third stop along this ride is confidence. The belief in oneself and one's own abilities. The toughest part of this journey would have been confidence. It took confidence from day one to step up in front of, two, of students who were too much younger than me and to pass on a skill that I had known for so long. It took confidence and has always taken confidence to be a female professionist because despite popular belief, men are not the only people who can play drums. The confidence portion of this journey proved true when it came standing my, to standing my ground on a decision, whether there be conflict between students that must be resolved or conflict that arose, arose between staff members and myself. My confidence was tested multiple times when a fellow staff member and myself would bump heads over my ability to teach due to my sex and age. As hard as it was to stand there and listen to what was being said, I had the confidence to say that I am a talented individual and I can lead this group of talented, smart students to victory. Despite the bumps in the road that shook my confidence, the most exhilarating experience that filled me was the confidence that I gained from teaching a skill that I have loved and had the passion for loving for so long, and to pass it on to students who share that same common goal. From our first stop of courage to our last stop of confidence, we have reached our destination, competence. The possession of required skills, knowledge, qualification, or capacity. Competence is the ultimate goal in any task that is taken on. I reached my level of competence when I was left to be an independent instructor, instructor free of my other co-instructor's eyes. I mastered the skill of controlling my students and I became a well-trained at the idea of rehearsal technique as hard as it may be to lead 23 high school students. My level of competency, although still growing, has helped me to further extend my own knowledge of percussion.
delight in working with them on a very special piece that will be performed at my knee in recital.
anybody. He hated everybody. He hated life. And you knew it. You knew just to leave Benny in the corner leave him alone. And he came up to me one day and he said, you know, you've really changed my life and you've really, you really inspired me to be a professionist. So, I don't know if you're just telling me that so he wouldn't have to run that day. <laughs> or, um, but my students really, have, from day one to now, they'll call or text me anytime. time, hey, you want to get the other jam? Let's just jam. I want to play. I want to I play what we played the other day. Uh, again, because I just can't wait to our next rehearsal. To, to gain a relationship that I had with my percussion instructor when I was in high school, to have that with my students now. Any last questions? 
questions. Thank you for coming to our session. All right, here we go. We're gonna add another chunk. We're gonna go from here all the way to the hold eight before the mellophone solo. From here to dot, dot, d, dot, dot. Got it? Everybody know where we're stopping. All right, here we go, set. Adding another chunk. and the guard is over on this side of the field. End of the hole 12, from here to the end of the hole 12. DJ, stop talking. We got to do on that section. Grab a gush and go. Set up at the beginning of the show for a run. We set your problem.
measures 16 through 19. Yep, music only 12 counts. Again, angling in, Ben.
check it now. B2. Quiet. Both of you. <laughs> Ready, C. Mm -hmm. 